Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here. They like to review for you a movie I just watched called Cryptid. This one is available now from Screen Media, and they were nice enough to send me over a streaming link to review this one for you guys. So the movie starts out with this guy. It's nighttime. It's raining out, and he crashes. He hits maybe an animal or something. It's it's very hard to tell. And so he gets out to look and see what happened, and he is attacked. Uh, presumably by some sort of animal. Now, it's, I assume the next day his car is found and um, there's cops there and this guy comes and it's not complete, it's, and it's hinted at, but it isn't revealed till later that he is a freelance journalist and he's trying to make some money because he's like behind on everything. He has no money and he's just trying to come up with something uh, so he can sell this story and make some money. And he's interviewing... I don't know if he was the sheriff or what, and he, you know, he's being real kind of aloof with him, and he, he's not really saying what he thinks, and it, they think possibly it's a bear attack. Now, I'm not sure if it's the next day. It's sometime just shortly after, maybe even that same day at night, a woman's dog gets out, and it is attacked, and then she is attacked, and so they start to think, you know, something weird is going on here. Now, he brings another woman to help him, and they're trying to investigate and find out what this is. And he starts to believe it is some sort of unknown, possibly prehistoric creature that has evolved without being seen. And they keep investigating. Turns out in the area there's been lots of strange deaths over many, many years. And they start like just finding these like migration patterns and kind of getting real in-depth with it. And they're, they're trying to really prove that it's not a bear and that it's some sort of other creature. Now we do get just kind of like tiny glimpses of it. Um, I don't know that they ever really show it in good light or like in just the whole thing. And probably part of that is just, you know, it, it's easier to sell if you're not really seeing the whole thing or in good lighting. And a lot of the movie takes place at night and the creature comes out at night. And so a lot of it is them just kind of investigating, trying to figure it out um, until, of course, it all comes to a conclusion where they must go up against this creature. Um, and I th it, it did kill a, a horse in there, and I can't remember, kills one more person. And so finally, a, a group of men decide to go out and get this thing once and for all. Now, I don't know why, but this movie is about two hours long, which is much longer than you would expect from this type of movie. I would think hour and a half tops. I think cut 20, 20 minutes out of this movie. Um, and it probably be a little more enjoyable. I don't, I don't necessarily always enjoy two hour long movies unless they have like a really good story and the story's all right, but it, it just feels like it gets a little slow and, uh, maybe should have just cut it down a little bit. I did really enjoy the acting and the characters and I thought everybody in this movie did a good job, uh, as their character. And I, I did enjoy the movie, but I think I'm gonna give this one a three out of five. <laughs> I just would have liked to seen it maybe shorter or a little more kind of action, with the creature going on in it. But overall, I did enjoy it. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed for our videos, show the chef's videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, the video is done. Choose another video. Still here? Subscribe and visit my social media links.